talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Samuel chapter 24. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the Spirit. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to and or listening to, just show us that person, Father. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray that you guard and protect us as we're traveling to and from different locations. And drive for us, Father God and protect our vehicles from other vehicles and their vehicles from ours. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration to do the work you've called us to do. Work for us, in us, and through us today. Protect us from other people and other people from us, Father God. We pray against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge, and discernment to make the right choices today not only for the betterment of us, but others as well, Father. We pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. We pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We come to you in repentance, Father, and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves, as we forgive those who sinned against us, Father. We pray for our enemies and anyone listening today who has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so now. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe it in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life. That was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father, we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you. Help them to get into prayer with you each and every day. Just what we're doing right now. Talking to you, listening for your voice, and obeying what you tell us to do. Help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible. And it stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So they can discern between the truth and the lies, and the truth will set them free. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them, and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. It's a God divine appointment that you're here. God brought you to this channel because he wants you to get saved so you can have a relationship with him and that you can go to heaven someday and spend eternity with him because he loves you that much. He loves you more than anyone could ever love you. He wants to be your best friend, someone you can confide in, that you can trust and will not lead you astray. That's who he is to you and can be for you if you allow him to be. Father, I just thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior and everyone listening today. 
I pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Samuel chapter 24. So if you have your Bibles and you'd like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of 2 Samuel chapter 24, and we'll get started. Thank you. And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to say, Go, number Israel and Judah. For the king said to Joab, the captain of the host, which was with him, Go now through all the tribes of Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, and number ye the people, that I may know the number of the people. And Joab said unto the king, Now the Lord thy God add unto the people, how many soever they be, and hundredfold, and that the eyes of my lord the king may see it. But why doth my lord the king delight in this thing? Notwithstanding, the king's word prevailed against Joab and against the captains of the host. And Joab and the captains of the host went out from the presence of the king to number the people of Israel. And they passed over Jordan and pitched in Aror, on the right side of the city that lieth in the midst of the river of Gad and toward Yazar. Then they came to Jalid, and to the land of Titim Hajish, and they came to Dan Jehan, and about to Zidon, and to Kem to the stronghold of Tiri, and to all the cities of the Hivites, and of the Canaanites, and they went out to the south of Judah, even to Beersheba. So when they had gone through all the land, they came to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and twenty days. And Joab gave up the sum of the number of the people unto the king. And there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men that drew the sword. And the men of Judah were 500,000 men. And David's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned greatly in that I have done. And now I beseech thee, O Lord, take away the inequity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. For when David was up in the morning, the word of the Lord came unto the prophet Gade, David's seer, saying, Go and say unto David, Thus saith the Lord, I offer these three things, choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So Gad came to David and told him, said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in thy land? Or wilt thou flee three months before thine enemies? Will they pursue thee? or that there be three days pestilence in thy land. Now advise and see what answer I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning even to thy time appointed. There died of the people from Dan even to Beersheba, 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing place of Aruna, the Jebusite. And David spake unto the Lord when he saw the angel that smote the people and said, Lo, I have sinned and I have done wickedly, but these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, be against me and against my father's house. And Gade came that day to David and said unto him, Go up, rear an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Urina, the Jebusite. And David, according to the saying of Gade, went up as the Lord commanded. And Arina looked and saw the king and his servants coming on toward him. And Arina went out and bowed himself before the king on his face upon the ground. And Arina said, Wherefore is my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To buy the threshing floor of thee, to build an altar unto the Lord, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Arina said unto David, Let my lord the king take and offer up what seemeth good unto him. Behold, here be oxen for burnt sacrifice, and threshing instruments, and other instruments of the oxen for wood. All these things did Arina, as a king gave unto the king and arena said unto the king the lord thy god accept thee and the king said unto 
Arena, nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I burnt offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which doth cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Samuel chapter 24. Hope y'all enjoyed and were blessed by it. Until next time, bye.